Why does Guinness open and pour so aggressively? Most people think this ball contains nitrogen, but that's not really true. In 1959, the boys in Dublin introduced the first nitrogenated beer in a special tap to pour it. The magic happens because nitrogen does not like to stay dissolved in beer. When the handle's pulled back, the beer's forced through a restrictor plate, which shears the liquid and allows millions of tiny nitrogen bubbles to escape. When the tap is pushed forwards, it bypasses the plate and gently flows for a controlled topping off. The widget is loaded as an empty plastic ball with a small hole in it. The can is sealed with a drop of liquid nitrogen that adds extra pressure to push some beer into the widget. When the can is cracked, the pressure drops forcing the beer in the widget through that small hole. This mimics the restrictor plate and creates nucleation sites for millions of nitrogen bubbles to come out of solution, giving the draft experience at home. Unlike big CO2 bubbles that rise strongly, nitrogen bubbles get dominated by the circulation of the liquid in the glass. As the center rises to form the head, the outer layers are forced down the wall, carrying some of the nitrogen bubbles with it. This gives the appearance of the cascade or the settle. Also, splitting the G is a touristy thing. Take a big first gulp, exhale through your nose, and savor the rest of your guess.